You freaking out? <laughs> and welcome to another episode of Reboot Robots R&R Collectibles. Ah. Hello, welcome back to Reboot Robot. I'm Carlos Charlie here with another statue video slash review of Masters of the Universe Battle Cat Quarter Scale by PCS Collectibles. Now I have uh, I had the He-Man one and I made a video probably uh, maybe a month ago or less. But um, I've had this for almost about two weeks. I've been trying to find space to even put them in the first place. Because I want to open them, give a, you know, a little review or whatever, and then put them back in the box. No, I don't want to do that. But I found space here behind the box. But um, so far, the box is huge. It's massive. You can see my whole body. It's pretty much my torso, the whole box. And you can see the, the photo shot of a battle cat here looking very cool, very awesome. I do like the art direction they have for Eternia. And uh, yeah, everything looks very cool. And I'm gonna try to turn the box around. This table might break. This is how heavy and big this thing is. Cause I can hear the table cracking when it does that. So uh, I'm gonna move it right here. And you see, of course, the product shot of Battle Cat. I think it's like a little farther away product shot, but uh, yeah, Battle Cat for scale. And oh man, it's been, I mean, I know that it's a little bit damaged from the box, but I mean, it's so lunky and heavy. It's like, you know, I'm not surprised for the product shot right here. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna open them up very quick and see what we have. Okay, and also this comes with white gloves, which is, to me, is highly professional. I do like that. Just the fact that they even care enough give you gloves so you won't damage the statue. Here's the He-Man statue I was talking about. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll put the link in the comments below on that video just in case if you missed it. But uh, also, here's a certificate of authenticity. Is that right? Can you see that? I think it says, um, I'm reading it from behind, 271 out of 500 by Jerry Macaluso, president of PCS. There's that one. And I also got, of course, the E-Man one, so I'll put them side by side. Almost the same, 271, 281, it's not bad. They're almost close to each other. So, all right, we got that. Now, let me cut this up before I put on the gloves. I can't believe how, how big this thing is. I don't think, have I ever bought something this big? No. I don't think so. The car? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go, wow. All right, what we have here is a failure to communicate. Um, I have a tail. <laughs> Pretty cool. Nice painting. Nice sculpted battle cat tail right there. I love that. It was like a snake. Now, I think the smartest thing to do is take up the base first. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the base right here. You can see it's kind of like uh, this is happening, taking place around Castle Grayskull as a magical limestone. I think I get closer to you guys for the base. Looks very cool, very well detailed. I do love the sculpture right here. Very nice, very heavy. See right there? And you can see the pegs where uh, Battle Cat goes. And uh, you can see, of course, it's like they're going up some steps. So. But other than that, see the vines right there. And also 271 out of 500, Master of the Universe, PCS. Very cool, Mattel is on there as always. So, put this right here. Next, I think the best thing to do is take out Battle Cat. This 
This is Battle Cat's body without the head or tail. Look at that thing. Man. Look at the nails. Can you see that? His claws, I mean, nails. Look at that. Uh, this is white right here. I have no idea. Probably could fix that. Painted, painted over. I think what? it's meant to be like that, isn't it? Is it? I don't know, but oh, the saddle looks awesome. Look at that, man. These these things probably hope they don't break easily. But uh, he's well sculptured, man. This... Anyways, there he is. The saddle is huge, man. I mean, this needs to fit a quarter scale He-Man, so the saddle needs to be big. I think I, could, I think I can even saddle this. Look at that. <laughs> That's a big one. Hold it. It's heavy. I'm being called with one hand. Oh my god, no, uh, I can't. So that's Battle Cat. I'm gonna put him on here. By the way, if you don't know, Battle Cat is He-Man's trusty steed or his mount. Just in case you didn't know. Is that the way it goes? That foot, the foot in the back looks weird. There we go. Yeah, like that. That's right, right? Yeah, we thought it was fine. No, the, the foot in the back is flat. Aha! Oh. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm about to say, was he like a, like he changed positions or something? Or I wasn't sure. I thought that was very weird with the amount of detail. Yeah. All right, so I had to take the box out because the, the styrofoam was already smashing due to the weight of this boulder. But um, you can see more of the detail right there. Very cool. I do love the sculpture of Battle Cat. I love his size. He's just so massive. And I was talking about earlier, I could probably even mount this thing, man. Look at it. It's huge. It's like the size of a, of a small dog, I guess. Here's the tail. The tail just ports, just, uh, of course, match the shape. And uh, I, it's magnet, so it goes in pretty well. And my wife was talking about earlier, why is this foot floating? What kind of detail is that? Well, I actually put this under here. And bam, right there. I guess you can move it around whatever you want. Give you a little, you know, options to move the stone around, I guess. But um, now next, this is actually the crowning piece of the statue. It's Battle Cat's face. Check that out. Look at the detail. I love how the eyes shine, shine through the armor. The, even his mouth, the teeth, the tongue. There's even cuts and scrapes here on his armor. Gives it detail. Like he's been through battle with uh, Skeletor and his horde with He-Man for many, many years. It's here in the back where it ports in. Very cool though. I do like in that. It's like they painted it to the point that you can see down his throat. Like, it, you know, you can see his, or the darkness is in the back of his mouth. Well, these parts are extremely, extremely skinny and it's polystone, so be careful when you put that in, not, it won't snap off or anything like that. So, put this, put this back in. Right there, it's like a magnet too, it fits right in. So, um, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna turn around a bit. Facing towards the camera. He looks awesome. Looks like a very cool part of my Masters of the Universe collection. And it's also gonna break my damn back. It's freaking heavy. All right, and there they are. Of course, He-Man is the actual companion piece. And they both look really, really awesome together. Now, uh, if, if I had a choice, if I had more space, I would actually uh, set them up a little differently, but Due to the fact that I don't have a lot of space in that area, 
I can't, um, I have to, I'd rather make them look right, but they're looking left, like they're gonna attack, you know who. But um, it looks awesome. This is a really cool, cool statue. I've seen people buy Battle Cat and uh, buy a different type of He-Man and uh, as a companion piece, but these two, they go together perfectly, as you can see. So uh, let's take a closer look at the detail there. Yeah, it looks really, really, really awesome. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. I'll be glad to answer them. And I'll definitely see you in my next video. Live long game on. Peace out.